Hey guys, it's this game Ontario 153 The Park and it's a little bit different from the other games that we've tried. Uh, there's Unfortunately it's one of those games that if I told you guys what you'd uncover uh, throughout the game pretty much there wouldn't be much game for you to play. Uh, it's only about one or two hours, right? We finished most of it yesterday, but we... Uh, yeah, we kind of ran through it. Um, there's we're... not very much things to do. You, you, it's yeah. like basically you go to it's an object, you, you, video game. you see some visions, I guess, or whatever you want to say. But other yeah. Than, like, if we talked about it, we'd just give the game away to you. Yeah, so. that's the problem. It's one of those games, like, it's kind of like The Sixth Sense, where if I talked about what happened in the in Sixth Sense, the movie, uh, there wouldn't be much movie left. Yeah. So, all we can really say is like, it's sort of like a horror game, you don't know what's going on, it's a little bit like, I thought it would be a bit more like Bioshock, so that's why I was interested, but then it wasn't completely that kind of game I found. I found it was more like, uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's, it's, like, it's, 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 like, a, it's like a, it's like a, basically it's dark. Yeah. Jump scares if you if you're into that. A few uh, jump scares, you know, slamming creepy doors music, and stuff creepy and like atmosphere. Yeah, it wasn't like scary scary. It was yeah. like, oh, the door suddenly slammed and you know it, I don't find that scary really. It wasn't yeah. so much like there's one game I've been trying to play for a while. I never, I've I always save it for like October and we never had a chance to play it. Condemned Two is supposed to be one of the scariest games ever made. Just scary sounds. Uh, you know, you see like hallucination stuff. That's what I was expecting, something a bit more like that. So we got to play that closer on Halloween. Yeah, I played that on uh, the Xbox. Mm -hmm. It was on Dreamcast. It was, it was on Dreamcast. Dreamcast. It's quite an old game, but I uh, thought I thought it was uh, there's a the, is it the, it's I'm pretty sure it's on Xbox and we released it for that. It might be. I think so. I think so. Or I, I could be thinking of money, uh, so because is the guy a convict? I think so. I don't know. It's yeah. been a long time, but so uh, basically, yeah, that, that game. It's really, really good. Yeah, like apparently it's super scary, but this this yeah. game is more of the mood rather than you seeing anything. It's kind of like uh, one of the movie. Not Saw, but one of the famous movies that are out right now. So the Shining, maybe? No, no, it's it's not. It's a modern movie. I'm trying to remember what it's called, but there's a lot of movies lately where it's more about the mood rather than you know. I guess. Anything yeah. actually happening? Like, oh no candle fell or like a door slam like that's that's sort of the scares from most of the game uh, I was expecting to be chased um, without spoiling anything but it wasn't really like that it was more about okay this is weird well it's figuring out what has ha happened to the person that you're playing and I it's, guess. it's a little bit ambiguous towards the end that's all I can say like I'm not sure if what I thought happened happened they sort of There could be different variations of it. We don't know. We didn't really replay really the game to see that. Um, mm -hmm. Now, what I got out of it is that it's kind of dark, uh, very, very dark uh, story. Yeah. Um, the graphics are great. If you and, and you want to play it late at night, you don't want to play it like say in the day. Mm -hmm. it, 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 like it's like it's. We were playing in a dark room, so it wasn't yeah. too bad. I find it, those games sometimes if you play it in a group, it's not as scary as if you play it on your own. But I yeah. just found it. I, where suddenly something happened, I'd be like, uh. Yeah, like, jump it, a little it, bit. It, I wasn't like, you know, freaking out or anything. You weren't smashing a computer. Monitor, yeah, that's good. I need, that, like that. I need that computer. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I just feel like because we played it and I was expecting it to be a lot scarier, I was kind of disappointed with like the 10 or $15 I put into it. So especially since it was getting so much attention, I found a month or so ago. Um, honestly, I, th I think... Like, if you really need one of these games, I think, in your list that's, like, sort of scary, you know, and it's on sale, buy it. But, like, other than that, I, I can't recommend it because, like, there's no replayability from what I can tell. I think it's like, more or less the, the second, story? I think the second game is where it's at, I guess. My brother yeah. was telling me that, like, if you own this game, the previous you, get, game, yeah. you get a bonus in the other game that they have. So. Yeah, I just don't know how, like, they're going to expand on the game because once you've beaten it, there's, yeah, there's you know what happened and, like... Yeah, so that's why, honestly, like, I, it looks good, and, like, the game, start of the game is interesting, and it starts off interesting, and then, um, they just didn't take it, I think, 
for ten dollars and only like an hour or two hours of gameplay, I feel like it's kind of that's kind of a premium. Yeah, and you can rush right through it and not even know that you're going through it so fast. Either. Yeah, exactly. Like, like it's just one of those games that you don't even realize. Because oh, one game, like we had a few, which just came out in early um, access on Steam. Like they're trying to randomly generate the towns and everything. So I think if the park did something like that, where the places are generated randomly, the story changes. I think that's something that if they had done, like it would have been a much better game, like because you can keep playing it over and over again. Yeah, and same with the like, say the person that you play changes. Like yeah, they're like not if, the same. If they had a few possible stories. Yeah, like, a few possible like characters yeah. to pick from to go through. I guess maybe. Yeah, and we Happy Few sort of had that Bioshock vibe, but I'm avoiding playing it because I want to, you know, cover it down the line once more content gets added. Well, I heard it's a really hard game to get into. Uh, it's a survival game, so mm -hmm. and if anything you do in it better do it fast or you're gonna die mm -hmm. so. exactly um i i heard like so far it's not quite where it should be yet but it has a lot of promise like the people obviously yeah well i mean it. it's only in alpha so yeah I mean, exactly what do you like, expect you can't alpha. you can't expect it to be polished up mm -hmm. right now so. yeah they don't have the storyline there so a lot of people were like Ugh. but i think it has a lot of promise like it, it's going in the right direction they're listening to people Oh, to yeah. the feedback from people, so well, I hopefully think they do. That's so. a game like once there's more actual real game, I think we should cover it. But right now, like, um, it's but not yeah, worth the time to do I it think right yeah, yeah, I think the park right now, like, they really need to. If they made a sequel like the part two. They they make it random and alternate storylines or like something. I, I'm like, pretty sure my brother said that's the way the reason why the second game mm -hmm. it takes place in that same world. Right. On yeah. The park, but I don't know. I forgot. Mm -hmm. It feels like another story. It's, uh, I think it's called Waterworld, I guess, maybe that's what it's called. Uh, something, like, something like that. And remember. basically, like you said, if you own this game, you buy that game and you get a bonus for owning the first game that they mm -hmm. made. So. Yeah, as it is, I can't really recommend it. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot scarier, like more like Condemned or something. Yeah, it was kind of disappointing in the story. Yeah, a like bit. the story was... I was expecting it to be deeper. Like they sort of did yeah. a Bioshock Light. I guess they're not a huge company, but they've done a few games. Um, I was wondering why there was that flash going on the camera and then I realized it's a butterfly going by. <laughs> it just appeared as a big flash on the camera. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I, I think if this game's five bucks, you know, maybe if you want a slight diversion, but for one or two hours, it's it's kind of disappointing for ten bucks. Yeah, there's so there's many better games there. out there. Yeah, there's like there. there's no replay and pretty much unless you really, really liked the game, but uh, I thought it was okay. It yeah, wasn't. It wasn't like, oh my god, it's a really bad game. It's not. Or it's not bad. It's not. Yeah. Great either, like but it's, it's well made. But it's yeah. not like I wasn't jumping up and down. And you said it was bored. You were bored walking around. Yeah, it was kind of like. Yeah. And then if you, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're not a strong reader like I am, mm -hmm. it's like you Most don't, you don't want to pick up something. Notes, and, like yeah. Bioshock, you don't want so. to pick up something and read it, and then pick up something else and read it, and then. It's like you got. I know that's how you figured out the story, but I'm just not into that. I'm yeah. more like a Diablo. And the last or, 20 minutes or so, yeah. like you were going, like without going into too much detail, because I realize this could kind of spoil the story a bit. But you're like you sort of feel like you're going through the same room, and I know that's probably the effect they wanted. Yeah, but well, it just sort of felt like padding, like to extend they, they the game I, that last. I like, think that was perfect for that. I don't know if you did, you didn't mm -hmm. like it, but I liked it because yeah. I like that repeating type of You're thing. Sort of lost. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that's the fact that it's like do, a pattern, but... maybe you need to get out of. Mm -hmm. But or but not to get. I can't say much about it because it would be giving away the plot of the game. Exactly. You know? Yeah, so. it's well pretty much the game. I know. Yeah, I'd say I give it like a pass, but you know there are a lot better games I've played on Steam that I think are more deserving of five ten bucks. So. Yeah, like Pac Man. <laughs> yeah, Pac Man Two Fifty Six. Yeah, yes. we've got to we've got to play that eventually. But uh, it's it's one. very. I heard it's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, anything else? I think that's pretty I think much that's it. Really I don't think there's any, covered You can't say anything about yeah. the story, so... All right, cool. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Let's Game Ontario 154, super hot. That should be a blast if you like Goldeneye or anything. Oh, it's going to be fun. I've seen gameplay on it. It's, yeah. I'm going to be like, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I've been wanting to play it for a long time. Wait until it goes on sale. And it's like, oh, 10% off. Ah, whatever. I'll just get it now. Oh, now. Yeah, it used to be 40 bucks, so I'm like, ah, uh, half price. Probably won't go down anymore. For well, that's worth the 20 bucks is worth it. Because mm -hmm. it's a first person shooter, so. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, guys, well, we'll see you next week. Adios for now. See you later. Keep on game.